Order of resolutions, Mr. Clerk, please read in resolution 228. Resolution 228-17 approves the establishment of a sister city relationship between the municipality of Kobogao, province of Ilocos Sur, Philippines, and the county of Hawaii, and authorizes the mayor to, of the county of Hawaii to enter into a formal signed agreement, authorizes the mayor to formally establish the sister city relationship pursuant to section 2-165 of the Hawaii County Code. Introduce Ms. Poindexter. Uh, aloha, Mr. De La Cruz. Again, for, if you want, uh, for this item, you have three minutes to testify. Uh, make sure your microphone is on. There's a button at the bottom. Yep, press the button, make sure it comes green. Okay. And just say your name for the record, and you may okay. begin when you're ready. Yeah, okay. Well, good morning, councilmen and council ladies. Uh, thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity to uh, present testimony uh, on resolution 228, I believe. Uh, I wanna thank all of you especially for giving me this opportunity, but in particular, Council Chair uh, Valerie Poindexter for authoring this resolution, which means uh, uh, very uh, much to me personally, and I think to uh, all the Filipinos in the state of Hawaii. Uh, the resolution uh, proposes to establish a sister relationship between Hilo and the town of Kabugao in Ilocosur, Philippines. This is a very noteworthy uh, uh, resolution, unlike many sister relationships that has probably been established in the past, because it really, I think, uh, point to a historical event that happened uh, uh, in the Philippines and uh, made uh, big changes in the history of, of our state. Uh, as you know, uh, there are the Filipinos are the second largest ethnic group in the state of Hawaii today. Uh, from 1906 to 1946, approximately 125,000 Filipinos were recruited to work in the sugar and pineapple plantations in the territory in the state of Hawaii. The first wave in 1906 settled in Ola'a, 15. And the last wave was uh, six, uh, the, uh, the group that came, 6,000 and they departed from the port of Salamagi in the town of Kabugao. What is important about the 6,000 people, I mean, uh, recruits, is that they were young, they were married, they were activists, some of them were guerrillas during World War II, and they were educated also as well, unlike previous Sakaras in the past. Sakaras, by the way, means uh, uh, recruits uh, that were brought to Hawaii by the Hawaii Sugar Planters Association to work in the sugar and pineapple fields. These recruits uh, were brought, really, to break a strike in 1946. Uh, the HSPA in the past has always been successful in uh, uh, you know, defeating any effort to, to have labor organization in the territory in those days. Uh, this was World War II, and there was anticipation that the ILW, which was really beginning to establish itself, was going to lead a strike. And also, the anticipation that a lot of the Japanese workers in the plantation will no longer return, and so they needed additional workers. So one more time, the HSP went to the Philippines, to primarily in the Ilocos region, the northwest region of the island of Luzon of which 90% of the Filipinos in the state of Hawaii have originated from. They brought them to break the strike. But unknowingly, the ILW already had recruiters on the ship. And before the arrival of these 6,000 Sakaras who came to Hawaii on four voyages of the USS Manawili, were already signed up for ILW. So when the strike took place on September 1, 1946, along with 60% of the labor force who were already Filipinos of 30,000 in the ILW, the 6,000 walk out as well. Without any resources of their own, they put their trust in the ILW and they succeeded. And as you know, the 1946 strike allowed the uh, ILW to become political force in the state of Hawaii, which changed the complexion of political uh, and economic development in the islands. I want also to state that these 6,000 are the parents of 
primarily a lot of the leaders today in the state of Hawaii because they were able to bring their families and educate them. What is significant about the relationship is that I think we need to recognize the contribution that these people made. And this resolution will go a long way to do that. I have big dreams, and I hope that I can share it with you someday. I think what it is important is to celebrate it, to honor it, not only here in Hawaii, but also in the Philippines. So this resolution, this relationship will promote that. And, and I think you have the support of the Filipino community uh, to push this through. And hopefully it will be uh, a recognition and also an economic force in the town of Kabuga because we share... If you could summarize, uh, Mr. Yeah. De La Cruz. So, you know, I just wanted to, to say, and again, thank you for the opportunity to testify. Uh, Ms. Poindexter, go right in. Yes, uh, we heard a lot from the testifiers um, on the importance for them um, of the connection with uh, Kabugao and the Port Salamagi where the cicadas came from. But more than just the cicadas, uh, there is so much more in the, um, the sister city relationship uh, to promote the trade, tourism, agriculture and education and we've seen that throughout the years um, so at this time though uh, after speaking with our Filipino historian Ramel de la Cruz when he read two of my whereases um, he was concerned that I referred to beautiful islands and Kabuga uh, wasn't considered an island even if it was uh, somewhat surrounded by water so um, I have I'd like to um, amend resolution 228-17 with communication with the contents of communication number 326.1 it's been moved by miss poindexter and seconded by miss david to amend resolution 228 with the contents of communication 326.1 miss poindexter yes yeah, so basically it's just uh just some minor changes in there and just the language so if you have any questions, I'd be able to answer that, or we can call Mr. De La Cruz up. Okay, thank you. Uh, council members on the on the amendment, Mr. Point, Richards. Uh, point of word, do we need a second on that? Oh, sorry, uh, Ms. David seconded okay. it. My bad. She, she did it so silently, I forgot to mention it. So it was seconded by Ms. David um, as to the point of order. Uh, council members, any other discussion? Ms. O'Hara on the uh, amendment. Uh, the amendment is great, and thank you, Romel, for uh, your attention to detail. And you are um, a great historian on this particular piece of history, so thank you for uh, catching those ch um, changes. And yes, I will fully support this. Um, it makes so much sense for us to have this relationship, and uh, I. I I look forward to meeting more people um, from Kaboga, and uh, I did have the honor of attending uh, the last event where the mayor came and we had um, a really great dinner and a really fun time. So I uh, fully support this. Thank you. Thank you. Council members, any other on the amendment, Ms. David? Yes, on the amendment, I thank, thank you for um, making those corrections, uh, Mr. Romel. And I just want to say that I do not only support the amendment, but I support this initiative because my grandfather came from the Philippines in 1904. So I really, really think this is a great idea to show solidarity with our Filipino community. So thank you. And thank you, Ms. Poindexter, very much. Mahalo. Thank you. Any other discussion on the amendment? Okay, all in favor of amending with communication 326.1, say aye. Any opposed? That's nine ayes. Motion passes. Now on to the main motion as amended. Uh, Ms. Poindexter, did you want to? No. Okay. If anybody has any questions up. or wants uh, Ms. our historian to come back up here, it's up to you. So thank you. But I know that um, in the past, uh, like Council Member Chung, before this, uh, his past term, um, not the past term, but before, a while ago, years ago, I know they had given to support the Sakata celebrations and stuff. So this has been going on for a while from past councils who have supported 
um, you know, honoring our cicadas and the, um, the impacts, positive impacts that they have made um, to Hawaii County. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Poindexter.